example like, let us take the class uh, case of numerical integration so as a part of your uh, c programming you have already uh, i think some of you have already seen that how to use that but we'll go into little uh, different methods uh, in, in the sense of uh, that uh, as a approach of uh, as a important part of numerical analysis so like if you know that if you have a function like this so the function fx if you integrate this fx dx over a to b a to b then you know that this will be f b minus f a that means that means f dash this f ddx of f ddx of f that gives you f so that means if the, this is the uh, function so you get the integ when you integrate you get back f and this is limited within a to b so you know that integration of a function basically gives the area under the curve so that but so there if the function is uh, straight forward or even for complicated function you can directly integrate but in real life problem but in real life problem uh, you have to resort to some uh, other approach because you, you cannot always get this function so practical set some profile so say for example giving an example so there is a crater like this okay so there is a so geographically let's say this is this is a lake this is a lake this is a lake or in a machining you are creating a crater so you want to find out that what is the surface area okay so this is not a given function this function is not a smooth function and also uh, that there are a lot of irregularities so but then the practical purpose you need to know the volume or you not need to know the area so you don't have a uh, you, even you, you may not know the function also but you know some discrete point the x y coordinate also so then there then therefore you may have to take uh, need to integrate this area because if you want to calculate the volume then you uh, or the area the uh, this is basically the integral so you have to evaluate that and directly mathematically you cannot do so uh, every now and then every now and then the numerical integration will be required or say pv diagram say pv diagram say something like this so pv diagram of a let's say ic engine there is ic engine my uh, this pain is like this somewhat like this okay this is difficult to draw with this stylus so let's say this pressure and volume so you want to find the pdv work so how you will do it it is not a mathematical exact function so you have to evaluate this integral so you can do this by numerical integration and also even if you know mathematical functions which can be integrated very nicely for example fdx you know there is a f even then sometimes as a part of a programming or a larger program you may have to integrate this say for example uh, another practical example for example say even from say flow again i am giving an example say like you are measuring the uh, flow of a again it's a river so flow of a river so you have a profile and different point on different point you can calculate the velocity so you know that if you can have a analytical solution of velocity like this if it is fully developed say your velocity is like this and your y is like this so you have a function but say practically you are in the two surface of a river bank so different position there will be different arbitrary velocity so now you have to integrate this velocity to find out the flow rate 
objective is gta so in one two dimension or three dimension you have to often take uh, find out the value of the uh, integral part and it has to be numerically integrated so this is relatively simple and i am today going to talk on this because i have a meeting so i'll shortly close today's session so this already have covered but as i said let's say let's say this is a function so it starts from here and ends from here so you have a fx so you can divide it the simple thing is you can divide it into a rectangle 1 2 3 4 so there are say n rectangle n is the number of rectangle so 1 2 3 4 and the last rectangle is nth number now now what you can do uh, now this part a small part you can assume that this is linear okay because this is a car but in a small part this variation you may not have at the information of how this y is varying so you take this y as linear so now what so how this can be found out you see if this is 1 and this is 2 or you can say this is 0 and 1 so this 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 is f0 so this is 0 and this is 1 if 0 and 1 location wise because i am starting from 0 means i have n division so 0 to 1 is first division 0 to set 2 is the second division 0 to 3 there is the third division so correspond to one n n this is 1 this is 2 this is second so you start from 0 then there is no confusion so one what is the this if i assume linear say for example this may not be linear but i assume for the linear so i i can see that this part is a trapezium this part is trapezium so area area of one is now say this is so we are integrating from from f a f p so that means this is this x x starts from a and x ends at p so x varies from a to b the range of x is a to b so what is a small division so this sorts this is a this is b so i am dividing equal segment you may take unequal segment but then the logic has to be then separately you have to derive the formula so equal segment so 1 2 1 2 like this the uh, n so n into h n into h is equal to b minus a or h is equal to b minus a by n so so as i am telling that we are taking the first segment so zeroth line first line this part this is a trapezium so the trapezium if i take this is a linear this is f0 this is f1 so area of 1 is h half of h into f0 plus f1 so next segment is 2 so the average height is f1 Plus f two by two. 
so this is the average height and the this base is h so therefore a2 will be half of h f1 plus f2 so this way we will proceed finally the n segment will be half of h f n minus 1 plus f n so if you add them so the total area is the sum of the small areas So, so the total area A will be equal to summation of AI that is A1 plus A2 plus all this sum AM. So now you see that if you add this, you see F1, F1. 2 times f2 f2 will be 2 times only this will be appearing once and this will be appearing once because when you are taking number of pieces 1 2 3 like this up to the nth pieces this and these are at the end so this comes these element comes in both first and second these element comes both in both in second and third like this so therefore the end element will have written the half the other will be half plus half one so finally so finally the formula will look like so you have a to b a to b and the finally the area using trapezoidal rule will be given by fx dx is equal to half or you can say h times this fa this is f0 plus sorry this will be f0 by 2 so fa by 2 plus f f1 plus f2 plus last the nth element will be f b by 2 the prior element will be f n minus 1 what is the so f1 f0 is equal to f f n is is equal to so this is f0 also f a not not a i can say, say f a and f n is f b because we have taken this so this is the zeroth element dividing n division remember we are dividing in n division so first division start from 0 to 1 first division second division 1 to 2 like this so nth division is n minus 1 to n so this this f0 and f is the same so f f0 by 2 or f a by 2 and last is f b by 2 and in between because this is this is coming for the first element as well as second element they are added two times and this becomes the formula so this is known as trapezoidal rule so a more accurate method already uh, raj has told me about the simpson rule so that is a better method so why because we see see we are I have a car we are assuming this piece is linear this piece is linear we are dividing and assuming this this part is linear this part is linear so we have a car like this we are assuming that 1 2 3 
so every part as a linear but say for example it is something like this this three point a point is like this so this is better described by a polynomial of second order so we we, uh, we can take three point and need to if we make a uh, better approximation then it will give better result because linearity is thrust upon so from linearity if you go to second order that is the polynomial it will be more accurate so this simpson's rule uh, does in that manner so what how it does it div divides it into 2n equal segment so we we just tell if this is a and this is b divide in n equal segments such that n equals 2n so that means n must be even even number so no odd so like uh, like this one 1 2 3 4 so n is 4 and n is uh, uh, n is 2 and n is 4 okay so now h is how much this this gap between this any two points is is basically b minus a by 2n or b minus a by m but now what we will do we when we take a earlier we fitted a line but now 0 1 and 2 0 1 and 2 we fit a polynomial of second order so that means we the if i have a first order that means linear that means 0 and 1 this is just the average of 0 and 1 but here not a simple average but we need to fit a function fitting a function means conceptually fitting a function means Hello, sir. I think someone is trying to join. Please let him. Mm -hmm. So conceptually, fitting a polynomial means that we we have the we have the three points through which we are fitting a curve like y equals. A plus b x plus c x square. So fitting earlier, we are just fitting a line. So this the average height, the average height was a f a plus a b by two. Just linear interpolation. But now here, I want to find out an average value of y. If I in reality, if I have to do the integrate this, so this zero. Zero one to two. Zero one two. If you integrate, so from zero to two, if you integrate, then we will get. Then if you divide it by the gap, that is, that is h and h to h. So this representative average height that fits a second order curve. So this height I must know for calculating between three points. earlier we have a trapezium we just take the average but now we are telling that we will do for three three pieces together so this three pieces together we have to find out the average value of this curve this curve so what is the average height based on integration so that is the value given by legend polynomial so you know that this value like if you fit between if you fit between uh, this value basically uh, 
if if this profile is given by y p of x p of x so this profile basically becomes p of x is equal to x minus x1 actually there is a long formula x minus x1 i'll give you a right of into x minus x2 by uh, by downstairs it will be x x0 minus x1 plus sorry into x0 minus x2 plus x minus see this is for zero so one two so now when it goes to one coordinate so this is zero one two zero one two so the the curve that fits to this is given by equation like this px is like this x minus x don't worry i'll get a right up x minus x0 and x minus x2 plus x1 minus x0 into x1 minus x2 so this comes from legendre's equation polynomial okay plus x minus you see 1 0 this will be 2 x minus x0 x minus x1 by x2 minus x0 x2 minus x0 by x2 minus x1 of course this will be multiplied by f0 f1 f2 so this right writing is clumsy but uh, when you get the right up it will be in a better shape so basically what we are doing we want to we want to fit a curve between z three points 0 1 so again i am telling that this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 so a second order curve will go all through this which will have a distribution like this okay so therefore this y if you want to average this you have to average you have to integrate this px over dx so we are integrating this this px this polynomial uh, we are integrating this for 0 1 2 so that what do you want my objective is to find a what is the y average for this so that this this is in the two pieces one is h another is h so 2h into y average is the area under the curve that is the purpose so i i want to get a, a value of this 0 1 2 so this is roughly equivalent to another square i mean rectangle so what is this y to get this i have to get that legendre polynomial exp ex expression and finally you will see the result if you do that f0 f0 f1 f2 the area is given by h times 1/3 f0 plus 4/3 f1 plus 1/3 f2 okay see suppose 0 and 1 what is the area 0 and 1 if you do just integration f0 plus f1 by 2 and 1 and 2 just a minute so you see what is the difference trapezium rule and newton rule i sorry this uh, simpson's rule so trapezium rule trapezium rule
Suppose I have three piece. So first piece will, will be F0, F1 into 2. Second piece will be F1 plus F2 into 2. And multiplied by the, the gap. So the x direction, this gap is h into h. So the final form is f0 by 2 plus f1 plus f2 by 2. So this is the area. This area, so you can see the difference. Between 0, 1 and 2, Simpson's rule integrated by 1 third f0, 4 third f1, 1 third f2. And trapezoidal rule integrated by f0 by 2 plus f1 plus f2 by 2. So you see that these coefficient, they are changing. And here it is evaluated from a second order. So this gives better accuracy compared to this. Sir, yes? Sir, Bolji Gichujan join got the Jaisu. Economy Dekchina Kauku. Sir, group is written. Now, I can tell you what it is. Sir, I have already done it. So, I have to read it. It is the same thing. I have to read it. I have to read it. See, I am looking at the screen. So, if some request is coming in WhatsApp, I, I cannot see because that is coming in a uh, cell phone. So, if I can hear the sound, then I am clicking and allowing. So, so this is the uh, the main thing. What we are doing again? That these are all approximations. So you should talk of trapezoidal rule or Simpson's rule. So, but but what we are doing earlier between two pieces, we are fitting just by a line. So and now we are taking three pieces and we are fitting a curve like this, a second order uh, curve. And from this, we are calculating the average area. So now, we have an area, if I have like this, 0, 1, 2, like this. Finally, we will go to the nth segment, n. So before this, this will be n minus 1. And the gap between this is h. And the so now, as, as we see that this first area 1, area 1, as per Simpson rule, is 1 third a 0 plus, uh, I seem right, not a 0, f 0. Even erasing is a, So, H time one third F zero four by three F one plus one third F two. So, similarly, in the second part of the area, so I have taken zero one two. So this is the first, first part is set. The second part will be this. So area 2 just does not means this. Area, area 1 is 0, 1 and 2. Now area second part, A2, will be H times 1 third. Now it starts from the 2, F2. F2 plus 4 third, F3 plus 1 third f4 so this way you will proceed and a final piece will have h one third f n minus two one third of four by three f n minus one and one third f n 
so if you add this area how many area you have you have taken uh, am equal to 2n division so even number say so if you have take eight division you have four area so you have to add that so if you add this you see that one third f0 remains 4 by 3 f1 and one third f2 and one third f2 this is two third f2 again 4 by 3 f3 one third f4 and this will have another one third f4 so two by 3 f4 in this way the final area will be given by so the final form will be fx dx integrated over a to b so the final it will be h by 3 f0 plus 4f1 plus 2f2 plus 4f3 plus like this finally uh, we'll get uh, get the last element f 2m remember we have divided into m segments and n equal to 2m some even number so below before that see this is 4 so this will be 4f pn minus 1 plus 2f pn minus 2 for example if you have say suppose you have eight segment let's say eight segment so then it will be h by 3 f0 plus 4f1 plus 2f2 so we'll have up to 8 plus 4f3 plus 2f4 plus 4f5 plus 2f6 Plus four f seven plus f eight, like this. So if the first element and last element has a coefficient of one, and every alternative is has a four and two, four two, four two. So the so you have to always remember. we have to remember always that a m equals to n so must take even number that is a caution otherwise it will not work even number of segments of gap h you have to take where h equal to b minus a by m so this is a, this is a very good and accurate method i'll just show you some uh, derived result i have written like let's just see and then okay just just so if you can see let's let's take a this this one cos hyperbolic x dx so we love, suppose we want to evaluate this between 0 to 2 and we are using just four segments so even then you can see very good result is coming so four segment means 0 to 2 
so 0 to 2 is 2 minus 0 by 4.5 so 0 that means you have 5 points f0 f1 uh, this is 0th point this corresponding to this is basically f0 f0 so i can write this is f0 This is F1, this is F2, this is F3, this is F4. So you apply the formula and you find this is, uh, this is the final result. So final actual value is 3.6868 and the uh, value from this is Simpson's integration is 3.6880. So you know that as you, you, for better accuracy, you need more divisions. So with four and uh, the same problem, uh, you, you can evaluate for, anyway, let me give you a different problem. So the, your assignment, like your assignment, Okay, so these you must submit next week. If you don't have to, uh, means just the first you submit the calculation. Programming will come uh, later stage, but submit the calculation. Sir, both assignment with assignment number one. No, no, not assignment number one. That will be finally a PDF will be compiled. But for these, like you have to submit the calculation. Okay. Okay, sir. In, in PDF format, in through email. Huh? You have to submit by yeah, email. Submit. Uh, submit by email. I I'll just am clarifying again. So what will we give give you? You you can take. So you have this thing. This part. This is not a circle really, but should look like a circle. So this area. Take n equal to 8 because this should be something should be doable by hand. So n equal to 4 and 8, you compare. What is the type of result you are getting? So area for n equal to 4, what is the area? 8 for a, I mean, so in a table, like area from trapezoidal rule, n equal to 4, n equal to 8 and Simpson's rule n equal to 4, n equal to 8. So this area you write here. Area 1, area 2, area 3, area 4 and 
why discover by four? What is the actual value right here? So I want to see the hand calculation. Computer comes later. First, you have to uh, do good hand calculation so, and have a feeling that what type of value we get. Like if I change the number of points, what type of accuracy? What is the gain? So you have to do one. This is a very small calculation, but one, two, three, four, four calculations that of the circle. Of the circle of this, x square plus y square is equal to five plus s square. So, of one quadrant. Okay, sir. So, uh, before next class, so this is uh, now you have time. This is, so now you do it, or you can do it later. But I want to see this by next Sunday. By Sunday it should come, and I am giving you the email ID where it should come. Uh, it, the sir, this Sunday or the Sunday after next class? No, it, now you can do now. Now you have time. There's so much of time is there. I have a meeting. I am leaving now, but you can do and you can. If you submit today, there is some. Uh, it, it will be good. Hc dot exam ju. This is the email ID. Sir, can you write it in the chat box? Okay, I'll write. Sir, uh, this will be your officially first assignment, right? Huh? Sir, uh, again, then you have to assignment this, so, isn't it? So, what are the other things? Sir, assignment will be a year month. I mean, assignment book for a final is not clear. No, it is an intermediate assignment. Okay, sir. I mean, our total total two assignment is not clear. Right? Yes. Again, I am telling you, again, submit. So, two or three things will be a PDF for you. Okay, sir. 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 Okay, हाथ लिखे स्कैन स्कैन इट प्रपारलिपार अलइनमेंट लाइक इन द रिभार्स ऑर्डर लाइक दिज इज फेसिंग बटम नट लाइक दिस ओके So send it by yeah, send it by Sunday. Okay, sir, we will. Okay. Uh, sir, only this one now. For now, only this one. And after that, when you will ask yeah, for all the assignments, then I will submit this one as well as the previous one. Uh, okay. Hello. Go on doing. Finally, I will take a uh, sort of a practical. Uh, I mean, workbook like that. Three okay, four assignments okay. together. You have to submit like a workbook. But intermediate assignment one is like this. Okay, okay sir. Intermediate one, so only we have to submit this. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. So, nickel guy, kya? Ah, oh, nickel guy, nickel guy. Ah, sir, guy. Jisne class record kiya? Brathish ke. My assignment ka kar. Sound. Sound hai, Brathish hai, please sir. Sound hai, sir. Uh, sound अच्छा बुझे ठीक है